everyone, Alison here and happy Easter weekend. Um, I'm recording this a day early as I'm going to be out climbing in the Yorkshire Dales tomorrow and it's got looks like a nice sunny day so I'm looking forward to that. And um, today I've got a short extract for you from The Shadow Games which is my next novel which is going to be released on May the 7th. Um, it's a dystopian fantasy book uh, set in a future version of uh, Las Vegas um, and this is this isn't the uh, beginning I thought I'd give you an extract from um, the middle bit once Vesper who's the main character and the sort of narrator of the story and her friends have been dropped down onto the city floor and they've been captured by slavers so here we go the dark-haired man still wore an intense look of concentration Sweat began to bead on his brow, tension radiating from his body. I remembered how the peacekeeper had stopped Daria when she tried to argue with Saskia. It had seemed like there was a barrier Daria couldn't break through, but this was different. It was like the man was controlling the slaver's mind. An icy chill began to sweep through my veins. The thought of someone being in my head, taking control of my body was abhorrent. But that seemed to be this man's power, as he called it. If that's what people do with their abilities, no wonder society throws them out. I thought, it's wrong. The door to the cage opened. Then, like a sleepwalker, the slaver turned and plodded out of the room. When the door closed behind him, the man fell to his knees as if overcome by exhaustion. Caden stared through the bars of his cage. What just happened? His question hung in the air. Then the dark-haired man got to his feet and stepped out of his cage. Nice to meet you all. Good luck in the arena. And if you want my advice, try not to get picked by Caesar. Not that any of the others are much better. Wait! The man stopped and turned. Again, his eyes burned into me. Close up, I could see a thin scar tracing his forehead, almost covered by a lock of his thick, dark hair. More scars covered his arm. Some thin, pale lines, others more recent. His clothes looked old, though they were better kept than those the slaver had worn. He wore a faded t-shirt with a fang snake and the words Las Vegas Snake Eyes underneath. It was tight across his chest, showing the outline of muscles underneath. I wondered if the effect was deliberate, or if he just didn't have any clothes the right size. Yes, he raised one eyebrow. What's your name? The man didn't reply immediately. I sensed him appraising me, perhaps considering if I was worthy of this information. Elan, he said finally. You? Vesper, I replied. His lips curled into a smile. Good luck surviving, Vesper. He turned and strode over to the double doors. I got the impression he was trying to disguise his limp. Let us out! I reached out to grasp the bars of my cage before remembering the electricity and stopping. A spark jumped between the bar and my finger, making my arm spasm. Elan paused and turned to look at me. Now why would I do that? Because it's the right thing to do? Because you're a good person? A sad smile tugged at the corner of his mouth. Ah, but you see, I'm not a good person. Good people don't survive in this city. You'll learn that soon enough. His gaze lingered on me before he turned and pulled open the door. Goodbye, Vesper. Perhaps we'll meet again. I hope you enjoyed that short snippet of The Shadow Games. And um, I really can't wait to share this book and get it released. Um, so I'll be out in just a few weeks. Goodbye and have a great weekend.